What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna be unboxing the Top Don Phoenix Scope. Stay tuned. But before that, check this out. Do you need some new headlights for your vehicle? How about some turn signals? Some that are actually very bright. Click the link in the description below and check out Oxido LEDs. And if you use code Andy's Auto, you'll get 15% off your order. Now back to the video. All right, so we finally went ahead and picked up the oscilloscope from Top Don that's going to work with our uh, Phoenix Light 2 scan tool. This tool here has been a long time coming for me because there's been a whole bunch of diagnostic work that I feel that this tool would have really come in handy. And um, I'm glad to finally have one. So we're going to be doing the unboxing again here, just like we did with the... Uh, scan tool just want to make sure it's in the shot there so it's the four channel oscilloscope and basically what this is is an extremely fast digital multimeter with the ability to display the data on a graph so it looks like just immediately we have two boxes in the bigger box it's kind of like one of those little russian toys or whatever you got a box and then a smaller box inside of that and then smaller boxes inside of that so let's see here we got this box i guess it's upside down okay so this one here has the actual scope itself just like our last video, we got some good old silica packets in there to keep everything dry. And then, if I can get it out of the styrofoam here, this is the actual tool itself. It says Top Dawn on the handle. We'll get that up close so you guys can see that. Okay. So, basically, this is a $500 box. An electric box that you can hook stuff up to and you can um, read graphs and data that way so we're gonna set that right here for just a moment if it'll stay there we go it'll stay like that keep it in the shot there okay and now we're gonna open up the rest of the stuff which kind of looks like this try to get it all in the shot there okay so it does look like we have a couple of these which are going to be your main test leads uh, it's basically your multimeter leads you got your positive and your negative so you can check voltages and things like that like i said of course we have two considering that it's a four channel oscilloscope i kind of wish that they would have sent four of these but i get it and then you have a couple of these where uh, I think these are used for testing circuit boards and things of that nature. So technically you do have enough things where you can use all four channels at once. However, I do believe that this is an automotive based oscilloscope and therefore I think that, uh, you know, having an extra two of these would be nice considering that these will be the main things you're using here. And then of course we have a few of these uh, tips here for back probing and then a few extra tips I guess in case one breaks or one gets lost or something like that and uh, looks like you have uh, one for each channel I guess we got green red blue and yellow so these kind of match the colors of the channels and then of course you have your black one I assume for a ground so that's kind of cool and then um, we've got a couple of decent alligator clips for hooking up to electrical this these will probably be good for like connecting to the battery or something like that so I'm definitely these are definitely nice to have and if I'm not mistaken I think that these will actually work with the multimeter leads that I have from my regular multimeter if I'm using that as well so that's kind of nice and then, oh wow, we actually have two sets of these larger alligator clips. So definitely very nice to have those. Oh wow, I am, I'm, I'm just blown away. We got four sets of these big alligator clips. Excellent. Then we've got four more, or excuse me, three more silica packets. 
for a total of five. You could almost play hacky sack with these bad boys. <laughs> and of course, last but not least, one of the most important things, we do have the connector here for us to be able to hook up to the scan tool. So, um, probably not going to run any tests or anything right now, but I would be interested to see if plugging this into the scan tool will actually pull up the scope app, I guess, on it, because I haven't even actually seen that personally. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the um, Top Dawn Phoenix Light 2 and we will be right back. Alright, so we got the uh, scan tool out here. Let me grab it out of the case. This thing has definitely seen plenty of use since the uh, unboxing video that I did on it. I do believe that was my second video that I ever did actually. We're going to adjust the camera here. We're going to go down a little bit and uh, We'll get the scope here, and I believe all we have to do is hook it up right here, and um, once we get it hooked up, we should be able to open the scope app. So let me get these cords all set up here. So of course we want this end right here to plug into the actual scope, so we'll do that. Set the scope here to the side. And then on the scope itself, I don't know if you if you have the uh, the original Phoenix or if you have the Phoenix Max. I'm not sure where the USB port is on all of them, but on mine, it is on the top here. So we're going to go to that, and then it immediately goes to the scope here. So let's get the camera set on that. We'll zoom in just a tad bit okay so we're gonna hit allow excellent so we do have the oscilloscope screen pulled up here all four channels and so it is loaded up here of course I'm gonna have to do some practicing and learn how to actually um, control this and um, you know I'm very, very new at this, to be completely honest with you guys. I just know what this tool is used for and what it can help me accomplish as a mobile mechanic or a diagnostician. And so, obviously, I'm going to need to mess around with this a little more before we can really show you any real testing. However, uh, trust and believe that we will be coming out with videos in the future with oscilloscope testing, potentially training, and things of that nature because this is the future, guys. Um, I know these tools have existed since like the 80s in some form or another, but cars are becoming more and more advanced, more and more computerized, and a tool like this is becoming more and more necessary in today's um, diagnostic era, if you will. So I'm very happy to finally have this tool. I'm very thankful to uh, have finally picked one up. Um, I would do want to mention once again, I am not affiliated with Top Don in any way. Um, this was purchased, you know, with my own money just to uh, check it out. Once One, because I need it, and two, because it happens to work with the scan tool that I have. So, um, definitely look forward to the videos in the future where we're going to be using a lot more of this tool. Okay, that's going to be the end of the video for today. Please subscribe to the channel, like and comment, and otherwise we'll see you next time.